My name is Dimitri. Uh, I'm working with Ocean Protocol. I'm designing the product. I'm designing a lot of the research parts as well. Um, what we're up to is we're we're basically building a network for decentralized services, data services uh, to break open data silos to make sure that uh, there is more provenance in these data systems, there is more openness, there is ways to contribute through incentives, um, creating data funds, creating open ML, open AI, uh, which stands for machine learning and artificial intelligence. Ocean Protocol is a layer two network protocol. It runs on top of substrates like Polkadot. And what it does, it allows you to monetize or have decentralized access control around data services. Data services will occur in what we call data service supply chains, going from raw data sets to more elegant decision making uh, algorithms like object recognition, facial recognition, speech synthesis, um, classifications, etc. Well, Ocean works by we have three components that are very important to us. One of them we call uh, data DNS, so a naming system for data services, uh, which is a decentralized metadata store. It comes from our experience we have with uh, building BigchainDB as a blockchain database. Uh, the second part is, is quite exciting. It's what we call modular service agreements. So SLA, service level agreements you would find between services in, uh, on the cloud, for example, they guarantee 99% uptime. What we're doing is we're taking that concept and we smart contractify it. Well, this year is basically the year of going live, right? Uh, we've been building the last year on the core components. We've, we're penetration testing them. We're doing security audits right now. Uh, it's all looking quite good to launch a beta net in the next month. Um, Ocean interacts with Polkadot in a way that when we say that we set up these modular service agreements, we're looking at decentralized services as well, Web3 services. And this means that we want to go to things like Enigma, Singularity Net, to Filecoin, to other types of things. Uh, so we need to communicate, right? Uh, and that communication protocol cross-chain is something that Polkadot will, can provide to us. Uh, so that's going to be one of the main features uh, that we want to uh, leverage from the Polkadot system, as well as looking at the verification pools in the relay chains. So Polkadot can help us uh, outsource the security and pool the security to create a, a better, uh, uh, well-integrated uh, ecosystem. Yeah. Imagine you want to do uh, some privacy preserving federated machine learning in a decentralized space, right? So that sounds like a mouthful. What it actually means is that we're going to need some components uh, from different... We want to have a variety of data sources. We want to have an algorithm training on them. And we don't want to lose privacy. So we're going to need a few services here. We're probably going to need something like proxy or encryption like NuCypher, or maybe we want to use a secret store of parity. Um, and we, what we're trying to set up is, is connection between those services. Um, this means that once we can establish communication underneath through Polkadot, we can start enabling access control of the, on those services and we can enable token transfer and value transfer on top of that. So we, we're looking at a few, few layers of integration here. Uh, token swaps, state swaps and just verification of, 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 of the security in the network.